What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our Week 10 CWL matchup, and we're going into this one nine and one. Uh, really wanted to fit, or sorry, eight and one, and we really wanted to finish the season strong. As you can see, uh, we took care of business. Um, Ninety-five point two eight percent total destruction, seventy-one sixty-eight. Uh, thank you for the war, Welsh. Was uh, was a pleasure. You guys got out a couple heartbreakers there. <laughs> um, so this is going to be kind of an interesting video because, um, uh, as probably anyone watching this video knows, uh, Tunnel 10 is kind of broken right now, at least we're finding. Um, just the bat spells, obviously, they already put out a nerf like instantly for it, and I will be shocked if they leave bats as they are um so we're gonna get a little tutorial by watching this recap on right now how to um uh, bat bomb bases and uh just followed it up with some dragons and getting a lot of results so we're gonna check you on your first going in <laughs> sorry my voice is kind of gone i'm super tired today uh for the record i'm usually drinking recap juice today i'm drinking a cherry pepsi uh had my ugly sweater Christmas party last night and then uh, was up at like 9 in the morning to go to the Lions game all day today and then had my daughter and had to put her, kind of hang out with her and then put her to sleep. And now I'm like ready for bed, but I got to get this done. Um, I'm actually shocked the replays as well. Still, um, uh, sorry, uh, last longer than 24 hours. But I remember one of the things I used to complain about back uh, pre my retirement Um I used to always say that when um, friendly challenges came out, the replays only lasted 24 hours, and it was such a pain in the ass because you, you just sometimes, you know, when you're a busy person, you can't necessarily do a recap within 24 hours of the war. But anyways, really glad to see that. Um, and as you can see, Neon is just wrecking this base. Um, all these loons kind of moving in, just sort of that uh, stoner goes in ahead of the dragons, does some good tanking. Uh, missed the bat bomb because I was blabbing, but don't worry. We got definitely got our <coughs> fill of replays here uh, to sort of go over the strat, we'll just say. <laughs> but uh, you're going to see sort of these drags kind of wrap around. You, um, from what I've noticed, uh, the way the dragons sort of just move across the base, they just sort of sweep across and take everything out. Um, you're going to see kind of it fizzle out a little bit at the end here, but these two drags end up coming around and saving the day. We're going to give it times four. These drags are slow as fuck. Oh, man. Yeah, but so we had a 59% hit rate. So, I mean, it wasn't insane. But the fact that we pretty much, except for one, I believe, and maybe one of the lower tier Town Hall 10s, but definitely only one of the max ones, we did not use something along the, this sort of army comp. But and that shouldn't be, obviously. You can't have Town Hall 10 where it doesn't, I mean, I guess some designs are going to start defending it. Like, base building doesn't need to adapt a bit, but that's still pretty ridiculous. Um, I, anyways, uh, so let's watch the next one here. <laughs> this is my tag. I didn't use the bats. It's actually, I, I, um, I fucked up a couple times in this attack and still ended up coming away with it. So I sort of ended up walking this queen down. I wanted to walk her up this side and walk the king in and drop a few wizards and take care of that air defense along the way. Queen was going to walk up here. To, there's a Tesla over here. and Really wanted to try and get that wizard tower, which I did not get, unfortunately. Uh, but basically, I just was making a funnel for the drags. Um, all these figured all these buildings were going to be down. If I dropped them like here, they would go something like this to the sweeper. Uh, and I almost fucked it up because this builder's hut doesn't go down, but I do save the day there. You're going to see sort of the heroes sort of make this funnel. I drop all the time. I'm like, oh shit. So I drop a quick wizard over here. Builder's hut goes down. And luckily, because that other builder's hut was pretty fucking close, um, dragons go in. So everything goes in the core. Out comes the clan castle. You're going to see the stoner go in. Try and do a little protecting on the king there. That was the idea. Just sort of while the king's in there. Just opens up the walls. King takes down the air defense. Stoner isn't really getting hit at all right now, so it gets actually really good value. But you're going to see I really mess up um, my rage spell. You're going to see the horribleness. I thought everything was going to go up to the expo and into the sweeper, and they just split right there. So I do get a few of them go in, but I definitely, definitely wasted that rage. 
this dragon just working on the clan castle, I guess, whatever. But uh, that wizard tower stays up, so I had to use that haste there. I wanted to save it for this pack end, and then I'm dropping the bat bomb right now. Lots of these bats go to town. Wizard tower, multi inferno, air defense, two Teslas, six bat spells of freeze and rage, and oh, and the arch tower. And down it all goes, and I got a crap ton of bats up now doing cleanup, which is good because the dragons kind of fizzled out a little bit. There's only one dragon and a pup left down at the end. We're gonna four times that. Oh, brother. I'm actually gonna swap that. I don't think the max bats, I don't know. Maybe it is worth it, but uh, max freeze is really important. You get that extra second of freeze, I think is, I think it's one second. I don't remember how much, but. Um, See so Veggie go in, doing the same, bringing seven, uh, seven this time, uh, one freeze, two rages. Uh, same thing, basically, is what I just brought. This entry going. There it goes for 12 there, and the queen oops, on the other side. He just wants to create a funnel. He's just going to go, it literally goes right into the sweeper. And uh, I believe, at least, I'm trying to think, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it just goes right into the sweeper with the dragons. <clears throat> Heroes just going to do work, doing their funneling job. I think they had quite as much with this king as I think he had hoped that he would, because uh, you're going to start seeing see he needs to use a drag over here to do a little bit of funneling as well. But yeah, it goes right into this sweeper, basically, <laughs> and the multi inferno. Um, one thing I'm noticing as well is multi infernos are very weak against this attack. Um, obviously you want two single targets to be single targeting all those dragons. Um, it, it, so that's sort of one thing I'm noticing for defense wise. Um, however, multi is really good against some other attacks as well, but I'm feeling like the state of the game right now, you're probably better off having two single targets right now, but I don't know. Cause this base is done for. All right, nice job, Veggie. Who's next? <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm going through the replays because I saw quite a few of them. I didn't know that literally everyone except, I'm pretty sure everyone except one attack was a variation of this attack. It's just so strong right now. Like it, you can do it to pretty much any base. Uh, I see these uh, multi infernos as well. Again, um, it kind of it, it was nice. You got the got the air defense there, um, but other than other than the balloons, really like the dragons just don't. It doesn't hurt the dragons whatsoever. So uh, multis are, in my opinion, not very good right now. Uh, so Stormer's going to go in, funnel for the dragons created, right? They're just going to go right in. Uh, it does hit this sweeper, starts pushing them down, but it's kind of perfect because it just wraps around this ring of defenses, basically, the dragons, and he gets that stoner and bats in the core. Stoner is going to go over and finish off that multi-inferno on the other side. And then a bunch of blues are going to come out, and he's going to just rip through. Just keep in mind, he still has two bat spells. <laughs> and his freeze. <laughs> There's his freeze. In fact, his balloons did not need it, though. They, that wizard tower is going down regardless. And tons of dragons in. Just drop the bass for fun. Yeah. Bats, eh, Supercell? It's kind of fun. So, uh, we did have a little mishap with the matching, so... Uh, they were kind enough to leave Zeus out of the war, and we had to leave. We had an extra town all night at the bottom. Um, good old Smash. It was like, I think it was Smash. Was it Smash? Yeah. It's got a million accounts, and the wrong one got put in. But anyways, uh, appreciate that. Well, so it was uh, sportsmanship for sure. Um, check. Warbles hit out. Seven bats. One freeze. Two rage. <laughs> Why not? Like, look... I don't know, clumps of defenses as well. Like, that's what I look for. Like, no, the sweepers aren't going to hit it. You can bat right here. You get all the expos, both those wizard towers, but like probably all of that you would get with six bat spells. Oh, touchdown Seattle. I'm not cheering for Seattle. I'm cheering for Kansas City to lose, for the record. Anyhow, Dragon's coming in. He's just going to sweep down the center of this base. Bat, 
where I said, I'm pretty sure. I think he does. I watched so many of these. I could be wrong, but yeah, there it is. There's the bat. There it is. Let's watch, watch them go to town here. Look at this. Down to Wizardar. Oh, maybe he doesn't get all the expos. It's a lot of them. Or two of them. Almost the third one. So really, these dragons gotta go through. And he still has the stoner. Like the stoner is half health. I think it bursts like right near the very end or something. Yeah, it's a mine. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> oh man. What's up? Ooh, almost oh, blocked the field goal. Uh, Dan. Going in with the next Bat Bomb attack. So yeah, we're really getting our tutorial on how fucking broken this is. Because, like I said, so many different base designs. And, like, I mean, technically, really, you can fit any attack in any base. But you, it some bases can make certain attacks very, very difficult to do. Even though you can still get three stars. But the, the three star rate with this was just, I don't know. <laughs> Unreal, we'll just say. Uh, so funnel getting created, usual stuff. Hound goes in first to go right to this air defense, which was kind of nice. Let the dragon sort of just funnel right into the inferno tower compartment while the hound does the tanking. Because again, the single target infernos had they targeted the drags even though, uh, before the drags killed it. Uh, definitely want to take one out. It still almost took one out, but uh, air defense goes down. Just kind of work through that sweeper. Dragons kind of stay to the outside at this point. So that was interesting because uh, that never is really good. But the bats go down and the whole right side of this base is, is gone. <laughs> See you later. Still the bats working in helping the dragons now. Why not go kill that expo? Dragons finally took care of the uh, Lava Hound over there. And they're going to move in and start to help bats get in. Why not take out an air defense? Oh, yeah, we still have the stoner moving through the base. <laughs> Killing the fences. I don't <laughs> I don't know if the stone or purse on this one. I mean, it does. Again, like, uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> That's it. The attack's fun to execute. But just because it's, like, so ridiculous, I don't know. I, with Warble again, Warble six pack with it. We've got eight of them this time. No freeze. No need to freeze. Bring an extra more bats. Why not? More bats. They're just what are you gonna do? Um so same thing, right? Hero on either side. Just let the, the sweep the drags through the center of the base. That's it. Use bat spells on very cluttered up defenses, trying to get infernos and like you know, having your infernos with other defenses around it right now is a no-no. I mean, even when they're not really around it, it's still, yeah, I don't know. So here comes the Rage. Going to work through Inferno number one. Nice use of the Lab Hound there, it's just uh, just like you did in the last one. Or just like Dan did in the last one. Uh, you just send it in, right? And it's going to tank that single target Inferno just long enough. Let the Dragons get in under Rage. And just got to continue to sweep through this base. They're like, there's so many here. They're going to lock on this defensive queen here now. And take out that Expo. And still has the stoner, which finally bursts, and some bats moving in to take care of the air defenses for the loons. Like, unreal. <laughs> oh. Last few defenses go down, and she's a three. Alrighty. So, Neon again. I may as well just show them all. It's just, it's crazy. So, nine, nine mad spells and a poison and a rage. <laughs> Why not? Or bats. Just bring them. Um, and same thing, just funnel. It's something very important. Like, it's, get the single target infernos out of the way quickly. Uh, she doesn't even bring a hound here. So, just gonna literally. Funnel the drags right on top of the single target. Queen steps up and does a little bit of tanking for a second. I think she loses one drag here. Uh, nope. But uh, one very damaged drag and took a black line too. But whatever, they're just going to continue to work in. Still doesn't even to use the bat spells yet. Or the stoner. So she just says, you know what? I'm just going to put all of these in the dirt over here. And then drop 
my stoner and just go to town. All right. <laughs> Bats everywhere. Moving in, taking care of the splash damage does sort of kill the clumps of them, but um, the single targets take so long to kill them, I find. Uh, does the stoner even burst in this one? Yep, it does. I know there's at least a couple that don't. Just smash it through it. All right. Time is a bit of an issue sometimes, like it always is with dragon attacks, but you tend to go through through this shit so fast. And if you get some balloons uh, to stay up with you at the end, it's uh, it's GG for sure. <laughs> like look at that RV call. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Anu. Bring seven with the freeze to rage. Eight dragons. Five balloons only. And a hound. So you just sort of change it up based on how you how you see you want to enter. So you figure out how you want to enter the base. Um, decide sort of where your path is going to go for your dragons. And where you want to send in the stoner. And sort of where you want to use your spells, and if you need a lava hound to tank the dragons or not, or tank for some balloons or whatever, you just sort of that's what you change. But you're, I mean, <laughs> eight dragons is pretty standard. If you can fit nine in, that's even better. <laughs> um, single target inferno takes down the king, locks on the queen, so he's gonna have to hit that ability there. And away it goes, but you see this sort of like V shape. Um, it just basically leaves the drags kind of zigzagging through the base. Got a little bit of a funnel issue here. I want to drop one dragon sort of on that builder's hut. Um, but it doesn't really matter. In they're going to go under the rage, take care of the clan castle, freeze that single target inferno. Good timing on that one. Drags just kind of work in on top of it and down goes the inferno. And they are in the base. So that is perfect. Drops a, a couple balloons to help uh, help out a little bit. Uh, again, try and keep the majority of the drags zigzagging through the core of the base. Down go the bats at 6 o'clock, and they're just going to wreck all of that stuff there. Take care of the arch tower and that other air defense, too. Or no, it doesn't quite get it. That's right, but it is very, very injured. But guess what? Doesn't matter, because let's just drop the stoner and a couple more bat spells. Why not? That'll take care of the air defenses, right? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, the stoner... Definitely does not burst. <laughs> not even close. Oh. What have you done, Supercell? What have you done? <clears throat> right, and leave it to Eric to be the guy. The guy. Say, hey, Electron still works. Fuck you guys. I'm not using dragons. <laughs> so uh this is it this is i think our only non uh bat bomb dragon three star um so eric's gonna go ahead and suicide the heroes in at three o'clock baby d to help out he's gonna step up ideas to get this air defense out of the way a little bit of this stuff on the outside nice getting that tesla there as well So all is looking fine, and Danny's going to go ahead and send in the stoner here in a second. And the hound goes first. You drop that hound ahead of your stoner, or even a blimp too, especially. It didn't soak up that mine, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, it it allows so much tanking for, uh, for your blimp or for whatever, right? So it goes ahead, drops the double clone. They go out, take care of the uh, multi-inferno there, all that stuff. Uh, E-Drag goes in and takes care of that other air defense. So, looking good at this point. Let's start the Lalo from 12, and you got this sort of like nice little circle around the base. Has three haste and a freeze. So, hasting in, just going to work through like basically this area, and it's going to go right in down to this sort of dangerous area at uh, around 6 o'clock, and then finish off with this last stuff on the outside. So, looking good at this point. <clears throat> freezes to make sure that hound stays alive to do tanking on this back end. <clears throat> yep, 
Things are looking pretty good at this point. Uh, as long as this wizard tower uh, didn't wreak too much havoc and drops a nice little distraction balloon there to allow the other balloons to at least get in over top to take some damage there. Always scary those wizard towers near the end of the base, but down goes that. Oh, there's another one over here too. That's right. But the uh, it was kind of perfect because it burst the hound, and then the pups distracted the wizard tower for the balloons. Nice job, Eric. Three in the bag. GG. Interesting. All right, Juanita. Eight bat spells. We're just gonna we're gonna times do this one, but it's like any base, like this very different base design. It's actually is real juicy for this uh, suicide. Obviously, you're gonna take care of both air defenses there. Uh, but doesn't quite get it because the king, the defensive king, sucks her up. That would have been really nice though. I would have dropped a little bit lower. Um, but whatever, it doesn't really matter because you got eight bat spells in the bag. Dragon's coming in now from 12 o'clock. Drops a few here. He knows that there are a couple are going to wander and then drops a majority with the stoner coming in from like 1 1 30. <clears throat> stoner goes in. They take care of that multi inferno again. Multi inferno is against this attack. Very, very weak. Uh, drops some. Just starts like he's just like spreading bat spells all out over the base. Right? He's picking off. Dropping a few of them on uh, just very important defenses. Uh, leaves the E-drag up. <laughs> like, this is crazy. I didn't bring loons. That was actually that's a different thing I noticed. This was the uh, the only uh, E-drag in the uh, stoner that I had seen. But nice job. And again, yeah, that was it. We literally basically went through every Town Hall 10 attack there. So let's watch some Town Hall 11s because um, none of them have bat spells, actually. So you're going to see, keep a pound in. Going in here, I lose track of who's accounts or who's, I don't know. So, anyways, I don't know. It's just, we have so many accounts flipping in on it all the time. It's crazy. Um, but you're going to see him go in with this queen walk from 6 o'clock, basically. Walks up, takes care of this air defense, and she continues to walk um, basically up towards 3. And then creates his entry there uh, to sort of jump in and take care of the evil apartment. Uh, just got to work on through that high hit point crap. Boom, hits the rage. Down as she goes. In goes the wall wrecker. Open things up. Nice little funnel at three. So everything's going to go in. Healers are going to keep things going. This is really nice as well. Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> Good old multi inferno. We're going to use the grand warden ability there as well to keep those bowlers alive. Um, with the healers and uh, the, the warden ability, it gave them just enough time to get in on top of that multi and that clan castle. So, bashed on through that core, and this basically, you know, 50% of this base is done. The hogs are now going to come in and just ring around the rosy clockwise. Has, two, has one more heal for this sort of back end wizard tower. There she goes. Just got to get rid of that expo and those last couple of point defenses up there. But he has so much to go. Still has a couple of healers. And nice nice little healer locks on to, uh, to the hogs as well. Control Tesla in the corner. See you later. Boom. Nice job. Good old Warble. In nine, 12 stars this war. Didn't he? Because, uh, yeah, he did. He had TH10, 6 back, and then he had uh, 12V and an 11V. Unreal, this guy. Absolutely unreal. Uh, so he's going to go ahead with a uh, standard Electron attack on this one. I think it's an Electron. Yeah, it is. Uh, so he's going to go ahead uh, with this, but not a blimp. He's just going to sort of use the, the stone or take care of a few of those defenses. Clone it up. Rage it up. Blast on through that stuff. Fortunately, he doesn't get enough to the core, I don't think, to take care of the Eagle Cannon, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Electra, E-Drag survives as well, too, and ends up taking care of all this down here as well. Barely survives, I should say. Uh, so it goes ahead and suicides the heroes in from 3 o'clock. He's going to go ahead and open up that wall there. <clears throat> Just got to let things move on in. And go the wall breakers. Bam, bam, bam. So Queen's going to go ahead and walk right in and actually works out just perfectly. And uh, he gets uh, that Inferno Tire taken care of, which is really nice as well. See that E-Drag, like I said, sort of just barely survived there at 6 o'clock. 
Queen hits the ability. Down goes the Inferno. And she has done her job for sure. So Loon's coming in now. And again, you're going to see, like, uh, it would have been, like, that sweeper is a bit of an issue. But uh, four Hasties is going to end up going right through all that. But Loon's just going to go right from 12, straight down to 9, and sort of, well, that's not true. They're going to kind of go into this core and then spread out. And um, that's why he, uh, yeah, I see them spread out there. Um, but that's why he tried to reinforce a little bit from 10 and then a few, uh, a few more from 9 there. So looking good. Tons of balloons in there. Grand Warren's helping out too. That's nice. Just absolutely crushing this attack orb. Lava Hound bursts. Down she goes. Use that last haste. And he's just going to throw the rest of his balloons down at this bottom section again. This scary, scary wizard tower at the end of the raid. But it's far, it has half health right now, first of all, I think, from the e drag, And then uh, yeah, it doesn't stand a chance. Get rid of the cannon. Looking good. And that is three in the bag for my man, Warble. I think that's the ninth star I've shown you from Warb so far. And he's, he's got a good one up here, too. So, JC coming in killing this attack with E Drag. So, this was just straight up E Drag it uh, with bats. <laughs> so, sorry, I lied. <laughs> I lied because I said there were no. Um, there are no bat attacks. Here's one. It's just the sort of the Town Hall 11 version, just in case. And um, it's with the e tracks And it makes a lot of sense. And I could see this as well being very game ranking in some situations. Um, you're going to see these loons kind of just spread out, just kind of sprinkled in here, trying to help uh, finish off these defenses. So the e drags end up damaging them from afar, and then the loons only need to drop one hit on them to finish them off. Uh, goes ahead, locks onto that defensive queen. So down she goes, hits that warden ability just in perfect timing. Go ahead and send in the bat army. Bats are going to sweep across this base now. e drags following things up. Down goes that eagle cannon. Down goes those backside defenses. All three, like, look at that. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, man. They probably should not benefit from the Grand Warden ability. I don't know, man. But this is this is groundbreaking for sure. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed it, JC. Nice job, Mike. All right. So this is uh this is an interesting attack. Obi's bringing a <clears throat> basically just a straight up bitch attack here and it it goes horribly wrong he still pulls it out so it's awesome but <laughs> i was watching it i didn't watch it live i was watching it later i was watching it and i started watching the entry and then I'm like oh no that sucks and i'm like well i got three so it must have worked out and then just i see this like one just, uh, you're gonna see here in a minute so things start off okay nice little bowler bounce trying to get that uh dark elixir drill out of the way the problem here was he should have dropped his healers like up here to keep them away from this air defense because he clearly didn't want his queen like he wanted his i think he wanted the queen i'm sure to get that air defense um and the way she walks uh in a sec she's gonna step closer and engage the king and the air, the air defense is gonna target the healers here so i was like oh man so it goes ahead drops the giants do a little tanking, send that wall wrecker in, bunch of witches, bunch of bowlers, okay, great. But bit of an issue over here, this archer tower does not quite go down, the wall wrecker does not quite make the wall in time, and ev and everything's walking. So it didn't go to the corner, and I had to do it twice to get open up that compartment, and by then, everything, look at this, literally all of his bowlers, which is King Ward, and everything walks around. It's like, oh man, what is happening? So then he's got Valks in the CC. So this wall record, and that the wall record did something really weird there too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's just sort of like kind of got like it hit one wall and then turned and hit the wall right beside it. I don't know, it's really weird. Anyways, uh, but with the queen in there kind of doing work, a witch jumped in to help her out as well. I had a little bit of distraction, but you'll see the healers actually stopped targeting the queen for a second, but um they're going to just sort of clean up while well, the wall wrecker gets in here. Valks are going to pop out now under that race. Blast those crossbows down. Expos, crossbows, whatever. 
And things are looking pretty good. Queen's going to finish off this expo over here and basically just got to mop up the rest of the defenses. All the bowlers and witches are just walking around and cleaning up all this trash. Warden is still there with the ability. His queen still has her ability. So at this point, you're like, wow. <laughs> Fucking the old, the old walk a shit ton of bowlers and witches around the base while my queen guts the court. <laughs> Oh, get him! Get him! There's no way that was a touchdown. Anyways, yeah. So, <laughs> Obi, <laughs> way to pull that one out, man. Just stick to the plan, right? <laughs> and just in case you were worried that bats might not work at Town Hall 12, well, they do. <laughs> <coughs> So Warp's going to go ahead, <coughs> bring basically the exact same, uh, the Tunnel 12 version of the Tunnel 10 attack. Um, 10 regular drags, 1 E-drag, goes ahead, freezes, bats, takes care of this whole compartment up top. <coughs> Saves one bat spell, doesn't use them all as well, I'll note. And clears out all of that crap up there, all of it done, and... Doesn't quite get that uh, wizard tar down, but really good value on the on the bats, saving one as well. So goes ahead and drops. Just wants to get in and take care of this town hall. Action, if you can take out with the heroes and wall wrecker, this um, nine o'clock section that really only leaves ten dragons, you know, to sweep in. I think they come in from five right at the queen because uh, I'm pretty sure that's where he drops them. We drop them down here. Boom. Yeah, help them out. Where the hell does he drop his drags from? Yeah, it's right here. He sweeps them in, I'm sure of it. Right on the scan. Yeah, they're there. So, you could have probably dropped those much earlier. I know he's sort of waiting for your funnel over there, but um, spreading out those balloons as well. And the max balloons while the dragons are just smashing stuff is just unreal. And why not hit the ground? Word ability. <laughs> Obviously, this base is toast. There's nothing that's going to stop. One, two, three, four, five? Four or five. Five level 10 dragons, um, or level seven dragons, <coughs> anyways. Warble 12 stars, buddy. Un, un fucking real, but uh, hats off to you for sure. Definitely our uh, our MVP. Uh, Warble actually, we got Warble and I. I remember when Warble got um, uh, made, made it to Invicta or first came into the clan. Um, cause I was not too long before him or maybe even at the same time, but anyways, we, we've never met actually more of I got to go smoke one together sometime. All right, brother. Uh, and you cause he only lives like three hours away from me, but anyways, hats off, man. Welsh, thanks for the war. Uh, so we finish off the season at nine and one. So awesome. You know, it would have been awesome to get that 10 and all, but you know, you, it had to happen, right? New England Patriots style. You had to lose one finally. And um, I got to say, uh, looking forward to these playoffs. Uh, I'm pretty sure, let me just look this up. I got it like right here on my phone. Maybe I don't. I know the playoff picture just changed. I'm trying to remember who we play though. Can I find it in seconds? Probably not. Would be an announcement, I thought. Du, du, du. Hmm. No, I guess not. Whatever. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, no, that's the old one. We were against CWC Brawlers, but I'm pretty sure that's changed. Uh, but we'll see. It doesn't start till January, so we got a couple weeks off for Christmas. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve, guys. Just got to say, Merry Christmas. Um, hope everyone has an awesome holiday. And uh, yeah, you know what? I, I get a few days off. Had today off, went to the Lions game, had a good time. Off tomorrow, I'm off Christmas, uh, Christmas Day. So looking forward to that. Uh, and I will catch you guys later. Definitely uh, definitely pick up with the uh, CWL playoffs coming in January. Until then, that'll do it for Wisdom from Lazar. Well.